Yes, it returns. The advanced UAV has come back. The Blackbird has returned in Black Ops Cold War. The Harp, the High Altitude Reconnaissance Plane. This is a Blackbird for your entire team to enjoy for 6,000 score. In today's video, I'm going to show you all about the Harp, how you can use it, and how you can even counter it or destroy it. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. My name is Gabba. Let's get right into the video. So you want to treat the harp like a very advanced spy plane. This will show the enemy's location for a full 60 seconds, the orientation in which they face as well. There is no perk to counter this. Cold-blooded does nothing, nor does ghost. Even if you're moving with ghost, it does nothing, unfortunately. This harp will show your location at all times for 40 seconds. Over your minimap will be an orange sweeping motion. This sweep does nothing in regards to showing more enemies. It literally is live at all times. The sweep, my guess is it's going to be implemented into Dirty Bomb later this month. That will then have a limitation on its range. Just like with the spy plane, it does have a limitation on its range in a Dirty Bomb map. This streak is available to all players and does not exist in the progression system. So no matter what level you are, you're able to use this and unlock it right away. This is a high-end score streak taking 12 kills to earn. It's quite high up there and I do recommend using it in your quest for a nuclear. On screen will be my new chart. This has been updated. Notice the chopper gunner has been moved. You now need more score to get that. That's now at 5,000 points. Just quickly, my recommendation for the nuke streak now is going to be a counter UAV. This has a much lower cooldown time than the spy plane, meaning you can get these more often. Also, call them in at specific times if your enemy get a UAV. Call in the counter, keeping you off the radar, keeping that long streak going. Then, of course, the war machine. You can't argue with that. The war machine is clearly the most overpowered thing in this list here. And then top it up is the harp. When you feel the UAVs are drying up, pull the harp out there, and that should get you through to the 30 kill streak. So as I've said, you cannot stay off of the harp. You're going to have to shoot it down. There are three known ways at the moment. One being using three different SAM turrets, which is a tall ask, or five Sigma-2 rockets. So if you and a team pair up, that might be okay. Or lastly, there's the air patrol score streak. So far, bullets do not take this down. You don't even get a hit marker. It will not cause it to score smoke. You can see here when you zoom right in, you do not see any hit markers. It is landing perfectly on there. And this may be a bug. I don't know. This may be patched. Or is it broken that you can shoot it down? There are actually two counters for this. One being the jammer. Quite cool that you can place this down. And know that while you're inside there, you should be off the radar. And the other one being a counter UAV. I'm sure someone on your team is running this. If you're not already, I strongly suggest you put this on. Because as I've said, a lot of people are going to use this harp in the next couple of weeks. Just to give you my thoughts on this score streak, it's very rare that Call of Duty release a score streak late in the game or kill streak. And this being one of the most overpowered ones you can see, I'm sure they're going to tinker with the score required for this. They've got lots of numbers, lots of stats to support why they've chose this many points. It's pretty much designed for pub stompers to get that long streak. If you can get one of these in a care package, well done you. This will transform the entire game. It really will claw back but make sure you're using counter. The counter UAV is so important at this moment. A lot of people are going to be running this, and I think the Sigma is now going to be the one. Just think, how much stuff is going to be in the air in the next couple of weeks? Counter UAVs, harps, UAVs, get that Sigma gold. You're going to use this, you're going to shoot down a lot of items, and I think the harp being the most broken thing you can use to get a streak in. It is so unfair when you're against it, if you haven't got anything to counter it, you've just got to put up with the deaths. Get in a corner and lock down. That's it. You've really got to camp up. It really means you can't push buildings. It certainly means you can't cap flags. And in the past Call of Duties, we used to call it the Blackbird Loop. I would get around seven or eight kills, wait to call my Blackbird in until my friend or my teammate is very close to getting their own in. As soon as they're close to getting a Blackbird, I'd call mine in, meaning my teammate definitely gets his and then so on, he will then use his to help his other teammate. This loop will then cycle. Once that loop is started, it's game over. If this can happen in Black Ops Cold War, I'll actually be quite happy. I'd love to be part of a team that can pull this off. I'm pretty sure there'll be videos on this channel and of course others that will do the same. They'll get that Blackbird loop going, but of course it's now going to be called the Harp Loop. How delicate and friendly sounding. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Harp. Is it broken? Is it too expensive? Is it too cheap? I've heard people say it doesn't last long enough. Just like me. <clears throat> uh, um, um, <laughs> hope you stay safe. 
Manamagabe, I love you so much for getting this far for the video. I genuinely do.